Hi guys, this is George back here with another video and welcome to another vid news update here talking about the brand new additions in 2023 to the Cedar Fair Parks and today we are going to be talking about Cedar Points new for 2023 additions. So, Cedar Point have announced the a brand new area to open in 2023 and it is going to be called the Boardwalk. So, there's going to be loads of different parts all making up this brand new area and we are going to talk all about that in this video. So, a big part of Cedar Point's history, of course Cedar Point is over 150 years old so it's a very old amusement park and they have got a lot of history and part of the boardwalk is going to be the Cedar Point Grand Pavilion which is going to be a kind of a, a new one I believe. I believe the old one closed in, I uh, know, I believe the original one opened in 1888. That then closed uh, whenever and now it's either reopening or being rebuilt. I think it's reopening and it's going to include a lake view bar. So of course Cedar Point is located uh, on the absolutely incredible Lake Erie so you can get some absolutely incredible views no matter where you are in the park and this is going to have a lake view bar looking straight over at the lake and the rest of the park excuse me and it's going to look absolutely fantastic as well as that the signature attraction of this brand new area is going to be a brand new Zamperla spinning coaster called Wild Mouse However, this is not going to be a regular Zamperla spinning coaster. It's not going to be a standard layout, thank goodness, because we've seen this standard layout so many times by so many different manufacturers, and we've, had, we've got enough of them. This one is going to be its own custom layout, which I'm very happy about. Cedar Point definitely does need something like this. It does have a gap in terms of family coasters. They've got some very small coasters, and they've got some very big coasters, but they've not got uh, much in terms of anything in the middle uh, for families. You've got something for uh, the smaller children, you've got a couple of coasters in the middle, and then you've got some absolutely massive coasters there as well. So it's definitely filling a gap in their lineup. And something very interesting that I do just want to point out quickly. Uh, we haven't had any news about this yet, uh, but of course Top Thrill Dragster has been SBNO since mid, I believe July 2021, uh, after an accident on it last year where uh, a woman was hit by a piece of metal from the ride uh, and was taken to hospital. So of course that is something that was very serious and had it meant that the ride closed down and it hasn't reopened since. There have been a lot of rumours saying it could be removed. We do know that it is a very problematic ride for Cedar Point. It does suffer a lot of downtime. It does require a lot of maintenance. It's very expensive to keep this ride going and to keep paying for this ride to be fixed and to make sure it is safe enough for guests to experience it. However, Top Thrill Dragster is a very, very iconic ride for Cedar Point. It was the world's first uh, full circuit, 400 foot tall roller coaster, or 400 plus foot, the world's first full circuit strata coaster. And Cedar Point wouldn't be the same without Top Thrill Dragster. It's an incredible ride, very iconic ride, one of the world's most iconic coasters. And it is absolutely incredible. And Cedar Point really will be lacking something if they do remove this ride. They removed Wicked Twister. We don't want to see another intimate launch coaster removed from this park. It's got some absolutely massive stats. Everyone knows Cedar Point because of Top Thrill Dragster. That's the first ride you notice at Cedar Point. It's the one you can see from the furthest away. It looks incredible on the skyline. And I just couldn't imagine Cedar Point without Top Thrill Dragster there. However, something very interesting is that in the announcement video for this brand new boardwalk area, uh, Tony Clark himself did say that Wild Mouse will be the park's 18th roller coaster. So at the moment, Cedar Point has 16 proper roller coasters according to RCDB. However, Cedar Point do class Pipe Scream as a coaster, which, I mean, some people class Zamperla Discos as coasters, some people don't. Personally, in my opinion, they are flat rides, not coasters. Uh, however, the park do class that, so 16 coasters already plus the Disco, that would make 17. And of course, if the park 
was going to be open in Crazy Mouse, uh, Wild Mouse, sorry, that would be the 18th coaster. But part of the 16 coasters would be Top Thrill Dragster. So therefore, does that suggest that Top Thrill Dragster could be reopening? A lot of people are thinking it is going to be reopening because of what Tony has said. However, we still haven't had an official announcement from the park. It's looking good at the moment though, I will say there have been some markings around it. It looks like the queue line might be rerouted. Uh, however, it is looking quite good for Top Thrill Dragster at the moment. There was a point where it was looking really bad for Top Thrill Dragster. However, now I do think it's got a pretty good chance of reopening, which I'm very, very happy about because I absolutely love this coaster and I can't imagine see the point without it. In terms of other additions to this area. Uh, in fact, we've got some stats for Wild Mass first. So it's got a track length of 1,312 feet, a max height of 52 feet, and a maximum speed of 35 miles per hour. In terms of other rides in this area, uh, the park are going to be bringing in some existing rides from the park into this area. So Scrambler and Matterhorn are going to be moved into this area. Matterhorn's going to keep the same name, however Scrambler is going to be renamed to the Atomic Scrambler. And then also Tiki 12, which is also in this area, is going to be incorporated into it and it's going to be renamed to Calypso. And then of course we do already have some other rides in this area such as Windseeker and the Giant Wheel as well. They'll be incorporated into the area and then also Gatekeeper is included in this area as well. So you've got lots of different attractions in this area, something for everyone. You've got a good solid family coaster, you've got a big thrill coaster, and then you've got lots of different supporting flat rides as well. Some for families and some for thrills as well. So in terms of boardwalk, I think it's going to be a really successful area for Cedar Point. Perfect family area with some thrill rides and some family rides, and it's going to be filling that gap that Cedar Point has had for quite a while now. So then guys, that is now the end of this video here. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at George Kelly. Follow me on Twitter at George Kelly. And check out my other YouTube channel at George Kelly. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe everyone and I will see you all later. Bye.